President Bakunet, who is currently in Chile on the third leg of her South America tour, held talks with her Chilean counterpart on Wednesday. The two leaders discussed ways to increase cooperation beyond the existing FDA focus. Our Che Yusun reports from Santiago. Reflecting upon their decade-long FTA, President Bakunhe and Chilean President Michelle Bachelet agreed to take their cooperation beyond just trade and investment. FTA 등으로 다져진 양국 관계 발전의 기반을 바탕으로 해서 공동 시장 구축을 위한 파트너십을 강화해 나가기로 하였습니다. Since 2010, Chile has been offering 40,000 U.S. dollars in capital, a one-year visa, and various tax incentives to support 1,000 startups from 75 countries, which earned Chile the nickname Chilicon Valley. Korea, also taking measures to foster startups, signed a deal with Chile to mutually support their ventures, a move expected to see 90 Korean ventures in Central and South America in the next 10 years. A deal between Chile's state broadcaster TVN and Korea's educational broadcasting system on sharing education and cultural contents will better market products related to Korean animation characters like its world-famous Bororo. With Santiago planning to increase its electricity from renewable energy sources to 20% by 2025, a bilateral deal to cooperate on future renewable energy projects will allow Korean firms to secure a strong presence in the Chilean market. President Buck's state visit has also moved Korea a step closer to winning some of Chile's big infrastructure projects like the one to construct a tunnel linking Chile and Argentina. In an interview with local daily El Melcurio, President Buck said she expects an increasing number of Korean investors to seek opportunities in Chile as the country offers a favorable environment consisting of an open market, social safety and transparency. Che Yusan, Arirang News, Santiago.